folks. Good to see you. Now you see, most of the time when I'm online, I don't talk like this. But you see, I come from East London. Well, technically Essex. I come from a little town called Romford. And when I go home and I see my family, my friends, I sound like this. And when we get together, particularly my mate Craig, hello Craig, we do enjoy a bit of a knees up. We do enjoy a bit of a sing song. So many of you have requested, can we have some of our musical specials? I think we should have a good old knees up. So get yourself round the piano, get your pearly king's outfits on, because we're going to raise the roof. Knees up, Mother Brown, and oi, have fun, everyone. Now, just thinking, that's a sound for next week's sing and send, isn't it? That's what I've got to do. I need a button when I press it and I get everyone going. Ba -do -do, ba -do -do, ba -do. OK, a very good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Fun Friday. And uh, yes, yeah, not often I have one of those lightning bolt moments uh, just as I start a broadcast. But yes, I'm going to make a note of that. Thank you so much for being here today. I do hope that you're having a good day. Um, here in Bristol, well, the weather is actually improving. We've got a bit of sun in the sky. Um, the garden is slowly drying out. It's a bit of a bog. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, all is well in the world. And I hope, yeah, you're having a good day today. We are going to sing through some wonderful music hall songs, starting in a minute with the Quartermaster Stores. We're going to sing the song The Flying Trapeze, which we learned only a couple of weeks ago. Uh, one of my favourites next, Henry the Eighth, I Am. Uh, and then Any Old Am, which was my granddad's favourite. And then finally, Side by Side, which was suggested to me by by my dear friend Craig, uh, who I hope is listening at the moment. If you're not, why not, Craig? And if you are, get back to work. Um, and he, he asked for this one, and it just sums up friendship as far as I'm concerned. So that is our programme for today. Let me tell you about Sunday, though, first, folks, before we get started. So Sunday is our sacred sing, and uh, we're going to sing through some of our greatest hits there. We'll sing Be Still My Soul. We'll sing Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring, which has uh, a wonderful oboe line played in by Malcolm. Uh, we'll then sing Your Justice and Judgment, which he recorded for me very recently. And then two gospel songs, which we haven't done for quite a while. Didn't My Lord Delivered Daniel and Great Day. And you'll see this, uh, this lovely picture here that Anna's found for me. Uh, it's Children's Day on Sunday. And uh, in Japan, they hang these traditional uh, lanterns here. And so this is a, 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 an image from the other side of the world to uh, celebrate Children's Day. Uh, of course, my kids are both saying, what do we get for Children's Day? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I'm going to have to think of something, aren't I, ladies and gentlemen? So uh, one more thing before we start, folks, just thank you ever so much to everyone who's come along to our Sing and Send sessions. If you haven't had a chance to have a look at it, of course, there is no cost to take part. If you'd like to donate or join our Patreon, we all lo we'd all love to have your support, but you don't have to pay to take part in this. All you need is a device to watch and listen to us on and a separate device to record on and about 25 minutes uh, and we'll, we sing John Kanaka three times. We make some other fun sounds as well and then we just ask you to send it to us. Huge thanks to everyone who's taken part in it so far. Next week we're going to be singing the wonderful I Waited for the Lord by Mendelssohn. All the files are up at homechoir.uk. If you go to our website, click recordings on the menu at the top and just scroll down. You've got some information about the project and then you've got all the files you need for I Waited for the Lord and we would love some submissions. As I say, this one of my favourite choral works. I sang it when I was 12. I've always wanted to do it with the choir, and you are the first and only choir I've ever taught it to. So of all the pieces we're doing in this uh, particular run of Sing and Send, this is the one I'm most looking forward to hearing come together. So uh, our plan for this afternoon, as I've said, ladies and gentlemen, all these lovely songs, but let's get warmed up, shall we? So can I invite you all to please ascend, be upstanding? Nikki just says, my mum used to say every day is Children's Day. I had to, I bit my tongue from saying that, Nikki, but uh, yeah, that's very much my view as well. <laughs> Particularly around here. Okay, so if we are able to stand, that's fantastic. Planting our feet a shoulders width apart. Hello to dear Nesta. How wonderful to see you. Thank you for coming along today. You're very, very welcome. Nesta, our, our splendid author of so many of our lovely songs. And let's roll our shoulders around, please, everyone. That's great. And then up to your ears, please. Take a deep breath and let your shoulders fall. <sighs> Lovely. That's great. And then roll your head around very, very gently to the middle and the other side. Now, people are asking, can I still send in John Kanaka? Absolutely you can. 
Uh, you can send in John Kanaka and the Contique de Genre Scene. We're still accepting submissions for Sing and Send until the end of this month. So you've got two weeks and three days still to do it. So please, please, if you have the time, we'd love to have a submission from you. Um, don't feel that you have to, but it would be fabulous to have as many members of Home Choir and even a few people who perhaps have never recorded before or sent in for any of these things consider John Kanaka. You know, it's teeny tiny. It's just a little piece. If you want to, you can just go John Kanaka Naka to like just on one note if you want to, and it will work. All right, just, just to say. Okay, fantastic, everyone. Take a nice deep breath and sigh. And again, please, everyone, a bigger sigh. Splendid. Well done. Thank you. And now we'll do a bit of gentle humming. No, that's the... I'm still on the weird farm sound effects. Actually, let's start there. So let's hum together. Deep breath, everyone. And... And again. And everyone, that is as high as we're going to need to go today. I'll just sneak off the Patchway Cathedral acoustic there and return us to our slides. Let's get started with our first song today. And this is a song that I taught everyone uh, nearly a year ago. This is the Quartermaster Stores. There are a couple of verses in here that are uh, Quarantine Choir exclusives. Thank you in particular to Sally, who sent these in for us. So this is a song... Well, I mean, it's a, it's an absolute classic. This is one that my mum used to sing uh, when I was a lad, just uh, just as she was b bustling around the house, and I'd always join in with the "My eyes are dim, I cannot see." Now, I do appreciate now, having said that, that the words aren't huge on the screen. So, if you are peering at the screen, I do apologise. <laughs> it's kind of appropriate given this song, but let's sing together. There was cheese. There was cheese, cheese wafting on the breeze in the stores. In the stores. There was ham, ham, mixed up with the jam in the quartermaster's stores. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I have not brought my specs with me. Now that's a really, really nice start, ladies and gentlemen. But it's a bit on the low side. There was bread, bread. Just like lumps of lead in the stores, in the stores There were buns, buns and bullets for the guns In the quartermaster's stores My eyes are dim, I cannot see I have not brought my specs with me I have not brought my specs with me Now you know me, we're going up again There were mice Eating up all the rice in the stores, in the stores. There were rats, rats, biggest blooming cats in the quartermaster's stores. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I have not brought my specs with me. Well, let's carry on going up. There is meat, meat, meat you couldn't eat in the stores, in the stores. There were eggs, eggs, nearly growing legs in the quartermaster's stores. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with me. I have not brought my specs with me. Will it be rude not to, wouldn't it? There was coffee, coffee, mixed up with the toffee in the stores, in the stores. There was gin, gin, brewing in the bin in the quartermaster's stores. My eyes are dim, I cannot see. I have not brought my specs with 
with me I have not brought my specs with me Up to G now There is beer, beer, beer You can't get near in the stores In the stores There is rum, rum For the general's tom In the quartermaster's stores My eyes are dim I cannot see I have not brought my specs with me I have not brought my specs with me One last time in Lace Jedburn There was cake, cake, cake You couldn't break in the stores In the stores There were flies, flies Feeding on the pies In the quartermaster's stores Sorry folks my eyes are dim, I cannot see I have not brought my specs with me I have not brought my specs with me <laughs> Thank you ever so much everybody, I think that counts as a warm-up we certainly started down low and ended up nice and high. Yeah, apologies. Th these words, gosh, flies, flies, feeding on the pies in the quartermaster's stores. Any, uh, any of you out there having lunch, you're welcome. <clears throat> oh, thanks, everyone. And do you know what? I've, I've got to go back to those who are watching later on. This is why I love what I do. This is the thing. We have, we have changed music forever, ladies and gentlemen. I'm having all sorts of conversations with wonderful musicians all around the world. I can't tell you about some of them because they are about future SIC projects which will just blow your mind when you hear about them. Um, but all of these people say, well, you know, the new normal, it's, it's, it's online, that's where it's at. And even when we come back face to face, there's going to be an element of digital singing. And I love that, by the way, digital singing, that's what we're doing. Um, and what I don't talk about is this, which is the, uh, the arts and crafts side of it. <laughs> I love it. I love me a good emoji stream. So everyone, let's follow that with a sad, sad tale. And we do sing a number of these sort of shaggy dog story songs here on the channel. These songs that just develop over the course of several verses. And normally it's some poor hapless so-and-so that something unfortunate happens to. And this is a great example. This is the flying trapeze. And it's a sad tale of lost love. Oh, she's back. Oh, she's gone again. Oh, she's back. Oh, she's gone again. Here we go, folks. The flying trapeze. It's a proper earworm, this. Let's have a bit of cathedral acoustic. Here we go. And once I was happy, but now I'm forlorn. Like an old coat that is tattered and torn. Left on this wide world to fret and to mourn. Betrayed by a may such a tease. Oh dear, the girl that I loved, she was handsome. I tried all I knew her to please. But I could not please her one quarter so well Like that man upon the trapeze Everyone! He'd fly through the air with the greatest of ease A daring young man on the flying trapeze His movements were graceful, all girls he could please And my love, he's purloined away Now let me tell you about this so-and-so with his fancy name and his big muscles, Cordier. His name was, here we go. This young man by name was Signor Bonaslang. Tall, big and handsome and well made and tanned. Whene'er he appeared, the hall loudly rang with ovation from all people there. He'd smile from the bar on the people below. And one night he smiled on my love. She winked back at him and she shouted, Bravo! As he hung by his nose up above. He'd fly through the air with the greatest of ease. A daring young man on the flying trapeze. His movements were graceful, all girls he could please. And my love, he purloined away. Well, what could I do, folks? I went to see a folks, folks. A folks, 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 folks. Mum and Dad, you know what I mean. Here we go. 
Her father and mother were both on my side And very hard tried to make her my bride Her father he sighed and her mother she cried To see her throw herself away Twas all no avail she went there every night And would throw him bouquets on the stage which caused him to meet her How he ran me down To tell you would take a whole page, folks He'd fly through the air With the greatest of ease A daring young man on the flying trapeze His movements were graceful All girls he could please And my love, he's purloined away And this is where things get really quite sad, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very sad story. You see, what happened was, one night I, as usual, went to her dear home, found there her father and mother alone. I asked for my love, and soon they'd made known to my horror that she'd run away. She scarpered. She packed up her box and eloped in the night with him with the greatest of ease. From two stories high he had lowered her down To the ground on his flying trapeze He'd fly through the air with the greatest of ease A daring young man on the flying trapeze His movements were graceful, all girls he could please And my love, he's purloined away Now you think that was the end of it, ladies and gentlemen, but no there is an epilogue to this sad, sad tale. Let me tell you all about it, because... Some months after this, I went to a hall Was greatly surprised to see on the wall A bell in red letters which did my heart gall That she was appearing with him he taught her gymnastics and dressed her in tights To help him to live at his ease And made her assume a masculine name And now she goes on the trapeze She floats through the air with the greatest of ease A daring young lass on the flying trapeze She does all the work while he takes his ease And that's what's become of my love oh dear oh dear oh what am I going to do folks oh dear thank you ladies and gentlemen of the quarantine choir slash home choir let me just show those watching at home what I'm looking at here this immense string of wonderful, wonderful emojis. Now, Atty's saying she can't find a trapeze emoji. Um, I do know that there are various committees that meet uh, around the world to discuss what's going to go in to the next uh, next run of emojis because they are updated fairly regularly. And um, I'm not saying that we should start a campaign uh, to to include a whole load of new emojis, but that's exactly what we should do. Um, so let's let's think about that, and let's think if we could choose. Maybe just a small number, maybe, you know, 40 or 50 new emojis. What would they be? OK, suggestions here in the chat and for the next few weeks. All right. Brilliant job. Very well sung, everyone. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Dorothy's just said silly woman. I love it. So, folks, let's have a look at our next song today. One of my absolute faves. And in a couple of weeks time, we'll do a full version of this, which has a couple of extra verses which are particularly cheeky. Um, and so we're looking forward to sharing those with you. But these these two verses on their own are great, great fun. Um, I have had to translate this a couple of times, ladies and gentlemen, for those who aren't sure of what the various words mean, because, well, this is a, an interesting dialect, is, is 19th century Cockney. So uh, you don't know what you're looking at. Have a look at me. I'm a bit of a knob, I am. Now, you see where I come from. If I said I'm a bit of a knob, it, it means something that I can't share on stream. But on, in the context of this, I'm a bit of a knob. I'm nobility. I am a noble. I belong to royalty. Um, I, w I was king of England when I toddled. I toddled like this. I walked out slightly, slightly tipsy, probably, out of church. Um, and then in the next verse, I left the Duke of Cumberland, which is a pub. Quite a lot of our pubs here in the UK are named after uh, after noble people. And then soon as one were mooches, OK, a couple of layabouts who were just hanging around with me, mooching off me. I was buying them drinks. I was holding up the crown. That's another pub. 
sat upon the bucket that the car men think they're own. So this is going to be a little uh, a stoop or a stool or something outside the pub for the uh, the people who ride the carriages because they were absolutely filthy and stank. They weren't allowed in the pub, and so you had you sit outside uh, in in the middle of your shift and have a, a drink or six. Uh, otherwise, I think it pretty much is self-explanatory, everyone. So let's enjoy a bit of Henry the Eighth. I am, I am. And uh, here we go. Have fun. Nice and stately first, ladies and gentlemen. You don't know who you're looking at. Now have a look at me. I'm a bit of a knob. I am belong to royalty. I'll tell you how it came about. I married Widow Birch. And I was King of England when I toddled out of church. Outside the people shouted, shouting hip hooray. Said I get down upon your knees, it's coronation day. Cause I'm Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am, I am. I got married to the widow next door. She's been married seven times before. Everyone was an Henry, she wouldn't have a Willie or a Sam. I'm a right old man named Henry. I'm Henry the Eighth, I am everybody. I'm Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am, I am. I got married to the widow next door. She's been married seven times before. Everyone was an Henry. Henry, she wouldn't have a Willie or a Sam. No, she wouldn't. I'm a right old man named Henry. I'm Henry the Eighth, I am. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are bowing and kneeling in front of your king, Henry the Eighth. Well, let me tell you about what happened the other day. I left the Duke of Cumberland, a pub up in the town. Soon with one or two moochers I was holding up the crown. I sat upon the bucket that the car men think their own. Surrounded by my subjects, I was sitting on the throne. Out came the barman shouting, go on home to bed. Said I now say another word, charman off will go your head. Cause I'm Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am, I am. I got married to the widow next door. She's been married seven times before. Everyone was an Henry. Henry, she wouldn't have a Willie or a Sam. I'm a right old man named Henry. Henry, Henry the Eighth. I am. One more time, everybody. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. Henry the Eighth. I am. I am. I've been married to the winner next door. She's been married seven times before. Everyone was an Henry. Hey, she wouldn't have a Willie or a Sam. I'm a right old man named Henry. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. Hey, well done, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. I hereby decree that you are all marvellous singers. Thank you very much indeed for singing along. Now, of course, the other day I did get into a bit of a trouble regarding Henry VIII. You know, we were all out on a, a bit of a costume tour, walking around on the Henry VIII tour, and I did get in trouble for taking too long. And someone said, you know, were you ambling? I said, no, I was Jane Seymour. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> right, how's everyone doing? Lovely, some excellent, excellent comments. Is there an emoji for off with your head? Hopefully not. And now I see it is Jackie's birthday. So let us all join together and sing for Jackie. Happy birthday. I hope you're having a lovely day, Jackie. Here we go, everyone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jackie. Happy birthday. Get a round of applause for that one, Jackie, as well. 
And Nikki's just said, after my groan, oh, after my joke, I need a groan. All right, all right, since you asked for it. That was after... <laughs> the delayed reaction. You see, that's the only thing with all of this chat. You see, when I when I say a joke, I thought you'd all be laughing. I thought I'd get one of these. I thought I'd get a... Oh, I've lost the laugh. Well, that, oh, I thought I'd get one of these. I thought the Amberlynn joke was worth a titter, but no, apparently it's... Uh, it's one of those. No, that's fair enough. That, I, I can take that, ladies and gentlemen. I can take that. Well, let, let's have a look at our next song, which is In the Old Eye. And I'm going to play and sing this one live because I love this one. As I said, this was my granddad's favourite. Uh, his name was Jack. And uh, I owe a huge amount to him, not just the way I look for the most part, um, but an awful lot of my sense of humour comes from my granddad, Jack. So we're going to sing In the Old Eye, everyone. Uh, Kit Kat says we need a longer groan. OK, 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 we'll add that to the list. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh. See, see, there seems there some tut tut tuts. OK, so what you're saying is we need different levels of of, uh, of groan to react to my stupid jokes. That's fair enough, Kit Kat. I'm, I, I, I can take that. So uh, on Wednesday this week, we're going to have, have to do sounds and a whole tier uh, I wonder if we should have level one, two, three, four, five of groans. Just make sure you're ready for that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so here is in the old iron, everyone. Do enjoy. Oh, there's a whole load of Cockney vernacular here. Um, I don't have time to go through, but oh my goodness. Uh, some of it's really, really good fun. Uh, your Derby Kell, gentlemen like myself, with a little bit of a pot here. That's your Derby Kell. Your dials, your face. Um, otherwise, let's just have fun. Here we go. And... Uh... <laughs> Just a couple of weeks ago, me poor old Uncle Bill Went and kicked the bucket and he left me in his will The other day I popped around to see poor Auntie Jane She said your Uncle Bill has left to you a watch and chain I put it on right across me vest Thought I looked a dandy as it dangled on me chest Just to flash it off I started walking all about A lot of kiddies followed me and all began to shout Any old iron, any old iron Talk about a treat. You look dapper from your napper to your feet. Dressed in style, brand new tile. And if I was old green tie on, but I wouldn't give you tough and sorry, your old watch chain. Old iron, old iron. Now, I won't forget the day I went to London on the spree. I saw the mayor of London there, that's who I went to see. He dashed up out of the canter with a carriage and a pair. I shouted, come on boys, we'll throw your hats up in the air. Just then the mayor, he began to smile, pointed to my face and said, Lord Lummy, what a dial. Started Lord and Mayoring and then to my dismay, he pointed to my watch and chain and shouted to me, hey. Any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron. You look neat, talk about a treat. You look dapper from me napper to your feet. Dressed in style, brand new tile in your father's old green tie on. But I wouldn't give you tough and sorry, your old watch chain. Old iron, old iron. And I shan't forget the day I married Miss Eliza Brown. The way the people laughed at me and made me feel a clown. I began to wonder when the dials began to crack. If by some mistake I got my trousers front to back. I wore my chain on me Derby Kell. The sun was shining on it and it made me look a swell. The organ started playing, the bells began to ring. The people started laughing and the choir began to sing. Any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron. You look neat, talk about a treat. You look dapper from your napper to your feet Dressed in style, brand new tile And your father's old green tie on But I wouldn't give you tough and so your old watch chain Old iron, old iron, one more time Any old iron, any old iron Any, any, any old iron You look neat, talk about a treat You look dapper from your napper to your feet Dressed in style, brand new tile And your father's old green tie on but I wouldn't give you tough and so your old watch chain Old iron, old iron Very, very nice indeed, ladies and gentlemen Well done Oh dear, I hope your dials have got a great big smile on this afternoon And uh, I'm loving your emojis We've got some, uh, what have we got? Oh my goodness me well, look, I think you, you deserve a round of applause for singing along So beautifully 
very nice. And uh, I just can't help but press this button here because it just... Nothing to do with the afternoon. But you know what? This always makes me laugh. <laughs> it's such a great sound. And apart from anything else, it, what it reminds me is that, you know, despite the fact that we were all... And I know today's all a bit silly. But all of the projects that we do, whether it's Handel's Messiah, whether it's Fun Friday, whether it's a sacred sing or a sing and send or working with... It doesn't matter. The whole point of it is that it's all people reaching out to each other and having fun. And even stuff like all of these emojis just shows me how much you folks enjoy each other's company because you wouldn't do it if you didn't think other people would like it. And that, to me, is why we do what we do. All right, so this last song is dedicated to all of you out there. OK, this is Side by Side. This was suggested to me by my my best friend, Craig, who has been my friend for 40 years, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and he is just the most fantastic guy. He's my children's godfather. And he asked for this song months and months and months ago. And every time we sing it, I think of him. So let's sing this one, everyone. Oh, we ain't got a barrel of money, everyone. Oh, we ain't got a barrel of money. Maybe we're ragged and funny, but we'll travel along singing our song side by side. Oh, we don't know what's coming tomorrow. Maybe it's trouble and sorrow, but we'll travel the road sharing our load side by side. Through all kinds of weather, what if the sky should fall? Just as long as we're together, it doesn't matter at all. When they've all had the quarrels and parted, we'll be the same as we started. Just a traveling along, singing our song side by side. One more time, oh, we ain't got a barrel of money. Maybe we're ragged and fondy, but we'll travel along. Singing our song side by side Oh, we don't know what's coming tomorrow Maybe it's trouble and sorrow But we'll travel the road Sharing our load side by side Through all kinds of weather What if the sky should fall Just as long as we're together in the comments it doesn't really matter at all When they've all had their quarrels and parted We'll be the same as we started Just traveling along Singing our song side by side Side by side Hey! Ladies and gentlemen of Home Choir and Quarantine Choir and all of these other wonderful online choirs, thank you so much for being here with me today and sharing each other's wonderful company. And if you're watching later on, well, thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoy everything we do here on the channel. If you do, well, consider giving us a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel, which doesn't cost you anything. If you click that little notification bell as well, well, then you get a, a little, just a little ding in your email just every time we go live and you can join straight in and um, if you leave a comment that all helps us as well so just below here you can leave a comment uh, that all helps uh, with YouTube with the algorithm and all the rest of it but uh, the most important thing regardless of all of that is that you had fun and so can I ask you to please give yourselves a round of applause and next time I see you on Monday so not Sunday when, when we're back but when we're back on Monday, oh, thank you, everyone. I will be sharing some of your most recent sound effects, and there's going to be some splendid examples, I'm sure. So whatever you've got planned for the rest of the day, and even if you're going to be seeing me in a few minutes for the summer school, I hope you have a great day. And do please look after yourselves. Great to see you, and we'll see you soon. All the best, folks. Bye-bye.